Moving on, following the release of Israel's internal probe on the death of journalist Shirin Abu Akleh, the White House is renewing pressures on the IDF to review its rules of engagement. Dr. Alex Selsky, former advisor to Prime Minister Netanyahu and member of the Israel Victory Project, is with us to discuss. Thank you so much uh, for, for joining us, doctor. So is it a serious suggestion from the United States or is this political posturing? Just let me correct you, please. Thank you for promoting me for doctor, but I'm not yet. Uh, concerning your question, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. But I think that the real question is how Israel will uh, stand this pressure, and Israel must stand this pressure. Uh, overall, I think the whole situation, definitely in terms of uh, advocacy, Israel shows uh, weakness in the whole situation by the very fact that it, it, it's not saying things confidently. I think that whatever happened, whatever happened, we must analyze, we must say the truth, whatever it is, even if it's hard for Israel, and to make a very, very uh, confident point that this is a war. Yes, things happen. Mm. It is very unfortunate death. And even if it happened by a fault of an Israeli soldier, we must understand this is a war. And if somebody wants that there will not be any casualties, so stop this war. Because Israel fights for its um, security with terror organizations. So if you don't want casualties, so please provide security for Israel if you don't. So we will fight by ourselves to provide the security. And we fight with terror. And we fight with terrorist organizations that we all understand that if they will put the weapons down, there will be peace. If we will put our weapons down, they will fight us and they will kill our children and our women and ourselves. So that's it. Israel must be confident. And what determines in the end is our strength and our ability to win this war at the battlefield. Anything else is with... You know, I'm sorry to say that, but much less important because nobody will care for our justice. 2,000 years, the world didn't care for Jewish justice. So, Why suddenly they will do it now? So we have to fight. Right. And if you want to stop these casualties, stop the fighting. So, you know, given Israel's and, and the United States' wartime track record uh, opposite one another, I think, as you said, Israel would probably be forgiven for completely ignoring Washington's request. But at the same time, given the ties between the two nations, do you think that Israel should take the, the suggestion at least somewhat seriously and, and conduct a review? Well, definitely should be taken seriously. If there is some mistake done in the field, we definitely must, you know, look at the uh, you know, have an analysis. An army always does such analysis. You know, I'm a officer in reserve service. I know exactly that in IDF, everything always is very much deeply analyzed. And if there was a mistake, we must correct it, definitely. But, you know, interesting question can be, let's see what are the, uh, you know, engagement instructions, the opening fire instructions of the American army in Iraq or any other conflict the American army was involved in. And let's compare. Uh, I'm sure that American army or European armies always did whatever was right to secure themselves. That's what we do. If, and if anybody, if the terror organizations want that there will not be casualties, so stop the fighting with us. Stop, uh, stop trying to kill our citizens and our families and stop thinking that you can ever defeat us, it will never happen, we will defeat you, and that's it. All right, so, you know, are you suggesting perhaps that Israel, if, if Israel were to adopt American rules of engagement, there would be more, ca more casualties? I'm just saying it's, it's worth checking mm. what are the engagement rules in the American army, and I'm not sure that our rules of engagement are much more... Uh, damaging for collateral damage than American. I don't know, we should check, but I s somehow suspect that, uh, that, uh, that American, you know, we know in history um, uh, 
statements of uh, English uh, army officers that said that, you know, Israeli army is one of the most, uh, uh, you know, humanistic armies in the world. And how, the way that we fight is definitely not the way that an American army or the uh, English army was fighting in Iraq. So it will be interesting when receiving these recommendations from the American army to see if these are the same recommendations for themselves in their anti-terror fighting. All right, Mr. Alex Selsky, thank you so much for, again for joining us. Thank you. Hi everyone, it's Emmanuel Kadosh. I wanted to invite you all to subscribe to ILTV Plus, where you can find our daily news and updates about Israel. And not only that, but live feeds, entertainment, our kosher food show, and so much more. Needless to say, your subscription to ILTV Plus helps us grow and create more content while also supporting the state of Israel. Our app is available on all platforms and devices, so I'll see you guys there.